Queens of Wales. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, and she'll make your heart take flight. La, 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 la. Plastic microchips here and there. She's a small wonder. Brings love and laughter everywhere. Mom, Dad, here's a TV show the whole family can enjoy. Oh, what's that? The Slime Mutants from Saturn. <laughs> it's about a bunch of dirty space creatures who come to Earth and leave a ring around the planet. <laughs> oh, let's see what else is on. <clears throat> Here's the bowl of popcorn you asked for. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, you have to pop it before we can eat it. Thanks, Jamie. Pop it. <laughs> eat your heart out, Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, see who's at the door, please, Vicky. And remember to look through the peephole first. Look through the peephole first. <laughs> well, who is it, Vicky? Harry, it's outside. That's a good place for her. <laughs> Vicky, let her in. Hi, Vicky. Hi, everybody. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, just getting ready to watch some TV, Harry. Can I watch too? I can't watch it at home. What's the matter? Is your set broken? Yeah. My mom threw it at my dad. <laughs> sure, Harry. We'd love to have you watch TV with us. Yeah. Love to. <laughs> Jamie. What did he do? Oh, nothing. He did this. <laughs> All right, kids, would you cool it? Jamie, turn it on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you that hypnotism can be fun as well as educational. Oh, hypnotism, this should be really interesting. Look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. You are getting tired, very tired. Your eyelids are growing heavy, heavy, heavy. You cannot hold your eyes open. You are falling asleep, fast, fast, asleep. And now for a few post-hypnotic suggestions. You, sir, when you awaken and hear the word milk, you will act like a little baby. And, madame, when you hear the word warm, you will become a vamp like Mae West. And as for you, dear lady, when you hear the word rose, you will get up and dance the tango. Harriet, would you stop trying to hold my hand in the popcorn? <laughs> you, sir, when you hear the word bark, you will act like a dog. And last, but far from least, you, sir, when you hear the word bananas, you will act like a monkey. When you all hear the word stop, you will stop acting out your post-hypnotic suggestions. And now, when I snap my fingers, you will awaken. Splendid. Did you know that Rose feeds her dog warm bananas and milk every time she hears him bark? I get it, I get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, honey. It's that Mrs. Fernwald from the Department of Family Services. Oh, the one that helps with Vicky's adoption. Yeah. Well, there's no problem. Hi there, Olivia Fernwald. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Still that happy family. Yeah. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Well, hello, Jamie and Vicky. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, and I remember this young lady from Vicky's birthday party a few months ago. That's right. I'm Harriet. The vivacious redhead who lives next door. <laughs> Harriet, uh, this is a personal matter, if you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. The more personal, the better. <laughs> Harriet, she means goodbye, as in get lost, hit the road, see you in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Look into my eyes. When you hear the word Harriet, you will throw yourself into my arms. When I hear the word Harriet, I will throw myself in front of a truck. <laughs> uh, to what do we owe this pleasant surprise, Mrs. Fernwell? I've come on a mission. Well, there's no problem with Vicky's adoption, is there? Oh, contraire. <laughs> That's French, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> We've been following Vicky's progress closely since you adopted her. And I am delighted to tell you that the Department of Family Services has voted you the adoptive family of the year. Congratulations. Well, that's quite an honor. Well, it certainly is, and, and we're very proud. Aren't we, kids? Proud. Proud. <laughs> uh, if it's convenient, my superior, Mr. Digby, would like to come over tomorrow and present you with a beautiful plaque. Well, a plaque? Oh, oh, that would be very nice. <laughs> We'd also like to videotape a, a small interview with Vicky and her new parents. You know, to show other families who are considering adoption. Oh, that would be just fine. No problem. Oh, wonderful. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, will uh, five o'clock be all right? Oh, fine. Uh, Vicky, show Mrs. Fernwald to the door, please. Walk this way. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, sweetheart. Bye, sweetheart. Get lost. Hit the road. See you in 1996. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Chinese egg rolls, my favorite. Oh, don't you dare, Ted. Those are for when the guests come. Uh, if you want to make yourself useful, you can get down five plates for the hors d'oeuvres. Five plates? Why don't I make it uh, six? Why six? Because with six, you'll get egg roll. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm going to get my own plates. Uh, till Mrs. Fernwall gets here, why don't you just go and watch some television? Mm. Television, look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. That's very cute, Vicky, but I don't have time to play right now. Look into my eyes. You are getting tired, <laughs> very tired. Your eyelids are growing heavy, heavy, heavy. You cannot hold your eyes open. You are asleep. Vicky, take this train. <laughs> When you hear the word warm, you will become a vamp like Mae West. And when you hear the word stop, you will stop it. When I snap my fingers, you will awaken. Take this tray to the living room, please. Tray to the living room, please. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Vicky, thank you. Don't you dare, Tim. <laughs> Listen for when the guests come. Look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. Not now, Vicky. I'm watching it. Look into my eyes. You are getting tired. Very tired. Your eyelids are growing heavy. 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 You cannot hold your eyes open. Vicky, would you go play with Jamie? <laughs> when you hear the word banana, you will act like a monkey. 
Your father sent for me to play with you. Look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. Not now, Vicky. I'm doing my homework. Look into my eyes. You are getting tired, very tired. Your eyelids are growing heavy, heavy, heavy. You cannot fold your eyes open. Really, Vicky? I... <laughs> when you hear the word milk, you will act like a baby. Hypnotism can be fun as well as educational. <laughs> you touch those egg rolls, Ted. <laughs> Honey, I only had one, honest. That must be Mrs. Fernwald. <clears throat> I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't. I couldn't help tasting them while they were still warm. Warm? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How <are> you do? <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. Who? Me? Well. Why don't you come up and see me sometime? <laughs> come up where? What's come over you? Mrs. Fernwald is at the door. Let her get her own man. <laughs> Stop it. Stop this. Ted, this is no time to get romantic. Mrs. Fernwald's at the door. <laughs> oh, you are here. Uh, well, this is Mr. Digby, our director of family services. These are the Lawsons. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I've been looking forward to meeting you. From what Mrs. Ferrandwald has told me, you're a very special family. Oh, well, I don't know about that, but we're very excited about receiving this award from you, Mr. Digby. You should be. <laughs> Hi. Oh, and these are our children. This is our son, Jamie, and this, of course, is little Vicky. <clears throat> this is Mr. Digby. Hello. Hello. Is this house on a tilt? <laughs> It'll just take me a moment to set up the camera. Yes, is this going to require any makeup, sir? Oh, no. But if you normally wear it around the house, please do. <laughs> Maybe a little eyeshadow and blush. Hi, Mrs. Lawson. I saw him come in with the camera. I think I can add a little pizzazz to the occasion. <laughs> well, Harriet, dear, this is supposed to be just for our family, uh, about Vicky's adoption. So why don't you just run along? Right. Hi, I'm Vicky's photogenic best friend. I know everything there is to know about her. Oh, really, little lady? Like what? Well, for one thing, she thinks I'm wonderful. <laughs> and what do you think of Vicky? I think she has great taste in friends. <laughs> <laughs> child, isn't she? <laughs> well, now that everything is returned to normal, uh, shall we have some refreshments? Uh, Vicky, go get some coffee, please. The coffee. An egg roll, Mr. Digby. Thank you. Ah, Mrs. Fernwald? Oh, I'd love one, but I'm on a little diet. Oh. <laughs> I have to watch my figure. Or no one else will. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, then some fruit, maybe? Oh, that would be nice. Uh, some grapes, cherries, a banana. Banana. <laughs> you 
chose this monkey to be father of the year? Well, Mrs. Lawson did say he was quite a cut-up. <laughs> Dear, stop that. Stop it. Stop what? You know what? Mrs. Fernwald, your fruit? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, could I have a glass of water instead? Oh, of course, I'll get it for you. Oh, don't trouble yourself. No, now I'll have Vicky help me. Oh, Vicky, could I have a glass of water, please? A glass of water. Oh, isn't it exciting, Vicky? Just think, after we tape the interview, you'll be able to see it on your own television set. Television? Look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. I beg your pardon, dear. Look into my eyes. You are getting tired. Your eyes are growing weary. You cannot hold your eyes open. <laughs> and as for you, dear lady, when you hear the word rose, you will get up and dance the tango. <laughs> Almost ready, folks. Oh, can I help you there, Mr. Digby? Oh, yeah. Would you, uh, would you uh, just hold this here? Oh. Dad, can I have an egg roll? Have a grape. They're healthier. Okay. That's an egg roll. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I guess we better have my eyes checked. <laughs> yeah, give me one of those grapes. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I should alert you, uh, Mrs. Lawson, that when I turn these camera lights on, it's liable to get a little warm. Warm? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Why don't you come up and see me sometime? I beg your pardon? You're quite a hunk. Hey. Mrs. Lawson! Dad, how much do we really know about Mom? <laughs> Mrs. Lawson, stop this! Stop what? Joan, Joan dear, what has come over you? <clears throat> hey, I'm sorry about that, uh, Mr. Digby. <laughs> sorry about what? I Joan. Now then, shall we get started? Uh, the sooner we finish, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I left the videotape cassette in the car. I'll be right back. Oh, this is going to be such fun. Yes. Fun. Hypnotism can be fun as well as educational. Rose feeds her dog warm bananas and milk every time she hears him bark. what you are doing with my wife? <laughs> Me? She did this? You're all wacko. Whatever are you talking about? Oh, don't play innocent with me. You are just dancing around the room with this flower in your mouth. And, and you, acting like, like a monkey, while your son here was, was pretending he was still in diapers, not to mention this brazen hussy. <laughs> You're a fine example of family of the year. This all sounds very familiar. I am the great Rinaldi. 
Look into my eyes. You are getting sleepy. That's it. We saw this on television last night. Yeah, Dad. Vicky was watching with us. Well, if what Mr. Digby says is true, then Vicky must have hypnotized all of us into acting that way. Oh, is that possible? Uh, with Vicky, anything's possible. <laughs> Well, in that case, we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Mr. Digby's bite is not as bad as his bark. Bark? <laughs> well, I certainly hope he's had his rabies shot. Dad, catch him before he starts chasing cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mr. Digby, Mr. Digby, here, boy, here, boy, here, boy. I got some kibble. Oh, oh, Teddy could get hurt. Where is he? There he is. Where? Right over there by that fire hydrant. <laughs> Stop! We'd love to have you watch TV with us. Yeah, love to. <laughs> Jamie. What did he do? Oh, nothing. He did this. <laughs> All right, kids, would you cool it? Jamie, turn it on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you that hypnotism can be fun as well as educational. Oh, hypnotism, this should be really interesting. Look into the eyes of the great Rinaldi. You are getting tired, very tired. Your eyelids are growing heavy, heavy. Love and laughter everywhere. Oh, what's that? The slime mutants from Saturn. <laughs> it's about a bunch of dirty space creatures who come to Earth and leave a ring around the planet. <laughs> oh, let's see what else is on. <clears throat> Here's the bowl of popcorn you asked for. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, you have to pop it before we... Heavy, heavy. You cannot hold your eyes open. You are falling asleep. Fast, fast, asleep. And now for a few post-hypnotic suggestions. 
You, sir, when you awaken and hear the word milk, you will act like a little baby. And, madame, when you hear the word warm, you will become a vamp like Mae West. And as for you, dear lady, when you hear the word rose, you will get up and dance the tango. Harriet, would you stop trying to hold my hand in the popcorn? <laughs> you, sir, when you hear the word bark, you will act like a dog. And last, but far from... You can eat it. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Pop it. Eat your heart out, Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> oh, see who's at the door, please, Vicky. And remember to look through the peephole first. Look through the peephole first. <laughs> well, who is it, Vicky? Harriet's outside. That's a good place for her. <laughs> Vicky, let her in. Hi, Vicky. Hi, everybody. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, just getting ready to watch.